Now, when I think about sharing, it is the foundation for a relationship. That's what makes us human. We naturally share, but yet when we come into a business context, all that natural sharing goes out the window. We actually are taught to not share, to keep things secret to each other. Now, if you're going to be developing a relationship, at some point you have to share. And you have to almost develop a culture around this. So as leaders in your organization, think about this. Forget about the social media, forget about channels or anything. If you could share one piece of information right now with somebody, what would you share? It could be an insight from the speech today. It could be a conversation you have in the hallway later today. What would you share and how would you share it? Today, the ways to share that are fairly limited. Email, maybe you might see somebody and tell them in the meeting, but what if you could exponentially send that in a very different way? What if you could reach out to your entire organization and as a leader, communicate something that moved you, an idea that really help, would help your strategic goals. A client interaction or meeting that you had where they talked about how great the team was and you could reflect that back and in a very frictionless way. That is what culture of sharing is. The opportunity there is to be able to share and provide that context, that connective tissue again for these relationships, which will be very important in creating a social business.